cups for what? And everyone had to wait, so you don't Everybody have to wait. <laughs> and we watched your Kickstarter video. Aww. We were like Googling everything. Like, oh, never heard of this before. Yep. That was, when was the Kickstarter? That was two years, years ago. ago. Yeah, yep. it was 2014. That one didn't get funded. Oh, it didn't? No, it didn't. We, we had a goal, and with Kickstarter, if it doesn't reach the goal, you don't get any money. So um, the Kickstarter didn't get funded, but it, it was a good advertisement. There are a lot of people that saw yeah, it. Yeah, and it's still out there. Yeah. Well, great. So, Appreciate your feedback. Yeah. Thanks for all the feedback. Nervous pacing. I would. I would bet. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. This is crazy. <laughs> we showed up the moment we showed up. People arrived, and it was like 20 minutes before we officially opened. So we've been nonstop. We had 40 minutes of juicing and not even being able to set up because there were tons of people. But we've had a bunch of big rushes and two breaks. So this is our second like break. Um, tons of people come and then there's a break and then tons of people come and then there's a break so it's good because I have time to clean the juicer and and whatnot so we're doing good everything is ready and restocked it's different than the farmers market it's different it's a different speed just give me it give me it give me it Bluffton's just more of a chill this is where we are oh yes can you make me a straw free yes <laughs> we got your order got yes your mom <laughs> we're making it right now Right now. Okay. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Here's the watermelon. I looked at our sales for the day. We're doing awesome. Like better so than we good. normally do on a good Saturday. Yeah. We're killing it. We're doing really, really well. We've had a few breaks. Um, which allows me to do what I'm doing right now, clean the juicer, and not have to worry about customers coming up real fast. We've been thinking about this for a while, doing another Kickstarter for a cold press juicer. Because if we had a cold press juicer, we could load this fridge up and just dish them out. Pass them out. And we could also get an espresso machine then, which is what we oh, want to do. Oh, that would be so fun. We, that way we can be a, a cafe, we can be a juice business and a coffee business and we can make the coffees and just serve the juices and it cuts our prep time down to 10 seconds yeah because this right here this is not efficient you know we're doing good sales and we're doing good but we can be doing so much better so we're thinking about doing a Kickstarter and we really want your guys feedback so yesterday I posted this photo and I was not expecting it to go so big <laughs> But it's just a little announcement saying that we were going to be in Finley, which is where we are today. And a lot of people have been waiting for this. So I expected a little bit of a reaction, but not like what happened. So it has reached 6,000 people as 101 likes and 100 people have shared it. Um, and there's tons of comments and whatnot too. As far as reached, meaning it has showed up in 6,000 people's newsfeed, you know? while scrolling and obviously 6,000 people don't like JK Juices, like haven't liked the page. It's reached so many people because of all the shares. So we've gained 100 new likes. We've gotten a lot of visibility just from yesterday. There was this location more downtown right by this giant company and the original plan was to go there but then I had like a realization that if we go there we will have a line so long and we won't be able to fulfill the orders because of how long it takes to juice like we can do a line of five or ten people and get them there but if there's a lot of people waiting they're gonna have to wait 20 25 minutes for a juice and when you're going somewhere high traffic lunch hour they only have such a lunch break and they would be really mad so what we've decided to do is 
go somewhere less busy, but still, still high traffic. This road behind us is crazy busy and we're close to, we're close to the heart of the, of the city. Really work on the relationships and building good customer relationships. Whenever we can get that cold pressed juicer is when we will go to the high traffic areas because that's when we can just dish out that's the juices. That's when we can support it. Yeah, and people don't have to wait. So I think it's a testament to grow slow, you know, and know where you are in your business and know what you can handle, but still have that goal and that reach to always be expanding because we would not be able to handle, handle it right now. So if any of you guys have business, like realize where are we at right now? Like where are we going and what can we handle? But how can we still grow and get to that point where we want to go? I've talked to so many business people and they're like, go right there, go, you'll get so much business, so much business. And I'm like, I know, but I know. we'll do business that is bad business because we're not going to be clean. We're not going to be fast. It's just going to be sloppy and all over the place. We're going to be flustered and frustrated and we're going to ruin hundreds of first impressions and customers. You really got to grow slow with these kinds of things and stay in your lane, realize where you are, but always be growing and hustling and moving. But just realize where you are because it's not as simple as like, go, 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 go. You got to have, you, you really have to have a plan and like realize what am I doing? But that's why we're here where we've been busy, we've been steady, we're doing great sales. Um, when we know we can do even better sales once we get the cold press juicer and get that. So we're tossing like, do we want to do a Kickstarter? Cause we don't, we don't have the money for that right now. It's a good $10,000. Um, so we might do a Kickstarter. I don't know, we can't decide, it's hard. <laughs> so this is where we are today. Look, there's even cute banner things over there. <laughs> so what we look like, we have a flag cause Finley is Flag City, USA. <laughs> we're nearing the end, so we're shutting down one of the generators. Are you trying to? We got two generators. They're super quiet. We got some bird poop. We do have some bird poop. Maybe we should we wash it. Maybe. We need to get a screen thing right here. It screens all the way down, and then there's I'll add it to the list. a little slit. Yes. Way to way to do that. Add it to the list. Mm -hmm. Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, we're not like crazy on Twitter, but yeah, we'll we'll get better. And also. Um, I might a YouTube channel where I document just everything, yeah. so all of JK Juice's history has been on the YouTube channel. So that's a cool thing too. Not JK. <laughs> that's a common joke. <laughs> See ya. What? Okay, really? You have never been to the truck? I mean, I always saw it in your driveway, like for your wedding. And, um, really? Oh my gosh, well welcome. Okay. Hopefully your first time experience is going well. Hopefully your first time. Great day. <laughs> the local newspaper is doing an article on it. Oh yeah, that's when I started filming. An article, a video. All right, we're good to go. Great day.